five, maybe like ten minutes before it's due, that's when Red Bull's really there for you. Yep. Red Bull gives you wings, man. They gave me wings to pass that exam, study for that final, and even finish off my homework. Shout out to Red Bull, honestly. They've been there for the Smash community, but they've also been there for me. And they're definitely one of the best energy drinks with a plethora of flavors from peach to watermelon and even coconut. And of course, those zero calorie options. If you guys are like me, who is currently in a diet, but we're not in a diet here for Varun or Verrazzo. They're definitely out there to put out some damage on the board. Steady diet of soccer balls and turnips, maybe. Jesus. That, Indeed. That opening string was so. Oh, there's a stitch. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Here comes the bomb. Stitch. Here comes the bomb. <laughs> Huge. I think the best thing about Razo is uh, he, even outside of his insane RNG, he's just playing so solidly outside of that, and then he just gets really good pulls to make his uh, his lead even better. That's the big thing is that Razor doesn't even need those big pull, uh, big pulls to win games. He's doing it anyway. It's just the third make it slightly faster. They expedite the process a little bit. Oh, nice back out of shield. That grab range from Peach, not as big as uh, Razor would have hoped. So that's a good stuff uh, for Varun to take that first stock. That really was one of those things... Oh, excellent neutral there coming out from Raza. What a great call out, too, because you can also call it the jump, the roll, with how great that neutral is. Raza, he's actually had it, like, I talked about experience against Pokemon Trainer. Raza's also had experience against this specific character that is Wii Fit Trainer, because he has played against Rockstar Ace, who is also from the same region as Raza. So he's got a little bit of character knowledge, but we'll see how he is against player knowledge, because, of course, as we've all seen, Varun is one of those players that is a little bit of a cut above some of the other Wii Fit Trainers. Yeah, I just completely true. I don't know why I keep forgetting about Rockstar. He's, he's like such a good uh, SoCal Wii Fit trainer. Oh, yeah. like here's the fun is Razo trying to go for that Hypno up smash yet again. Rude thing. I'm, I'm not falling for that. Thanks for the free port smash, buddy. You gotta be careful. We're just doing a really good job of waiting and baiting. Uh, when those options start to come out from Razo, like it's not really a panic option, but it's not an option that you should be seeing in neutral. And when it does happen, Varun is there and ready with that deep breathing F smash to get the kill. Oh, that's so oh cool. excellent wow. opportunity from Varun. Stop this man before he can even start his descent. Dang, that juggle was brutal, man. He didn't give him any room to, to combat that. I, I really like, again, how he always is using the, the header soccer ball medicine ball. I don't know what it is. The ball move. Uh, he's always well, using I'm going to call it a soccer ball. Yeah, he's always using it in tandem with his really good uh, aerials to make it so hard to land freely versus them. You never know when it's safe to jump or air dodge or whatever, so you just catch people slipping so often with and that's, that. And that's the big thing, is that it never really is safe because Varun's angles are so perfect at all times with that soccer ball. It's just fantastic to see. Yeah, the coverage that he can do with soccer ball is quite amazing, the way that he sets it up. But also, it's the fact that, like, Wii Fit Trainer is one of those characters that actually has the speed to kind of contest um, <laughs> Peach in the air. Because you can see, he just ran up to this man and said, before you even start your descent, I'm going to back air you. And if he misses the back air, he's still within a good space to either go for another back air, set up Sucker Ball, and still try to hold the stage. Three, two, one, go! Okay, back on the FT here. Razo is uh, very comfortable on this stage, it seems. We saw this stage played a good three times in the Schroeder match. I think if it was up to him, he would have played that whole set on uh, FT. For sure. Um, getting started off, though. Oh. <laughs> Razo's <laughs> trying to do a good job. Same. It's basically the same story that we saw at the beginning of last game. Uh, of just getting stuck on ledge. And right now, Varun's doing a very good job of trying to get around it. 77% they're getting sent back off stage and hit with the turn up. Another Stitch Face came out, but he wasn't really able to do too much with it. This is more Stitch Faces in one set than I've seen in like some entire like first attempt. With <laughs> yeah. It's actually really insane to see, honestly. Oh, not getting shield poked there. Really good discipline for Varun. Oh my Ooh. god! I just talked about that soccer ball <laughs> setup, man. He has it on point. Dude, that's just... I just, Every time I see that, I just can't believe he's intentionally doing that. That's just so out of left field that it's, it's just crazy every time. Oh my god. That was nuts, dude. Rune, yes. You're crazy, man. You're Rune wants that run back versus Louie Money. For oh, sure. 
I think well, actually, no matter who to one back, I think both of these players were sent to losers by Lou Money. Yeah, that's true. they've actually were. That's right, but we're out on the back foot already. Oh man, this deep breathing we oh. fit is just rushing him down right now like a monster. Barely avoiding the sun salutation, but how do you get off the ledge, dude? That was X such a good ledge trap. Yeah, that, like I said, the soccer ball being there extends hitboxes, but also it's a really good cover drop specifically at the ledge. And that was an excellent play coming out from Varun. Raza looking to catch up here. He's down to stock, but he's finally got the stitch face. Can he pull out a combo and opportunity, but he starts off with the parry and the toss. All right, so that's five. That's the fifth one <laughs> in this set already. So many. This is, wait, no, okay, hang on. Is, is it possible to check a switch after this? I know it's Wi-Fi, but this, this is looking sus. I know I was making the joke about speaking it into existence, but I've never seen this many stitch faces. I don't, I don't know. I think Lady Luck's on Razzle's side. Like, Lady Luck wants Razzle to move on this tournament. But oh, Rune is like, no Lady thing. punching someone in the face is on Varun's side. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Razo is definitely one of the last remaining SoCal players and representing the Inland Empire as well from the region of SoCal, as big yeah. as SoCal is. Yeah. Razo is the last SoCal player. Yep. Ver, uh, Varun and Lumani are both NorCal. Yep. Oh, so, X, that would be, I, I respect that right. that counter just because it would have called out the soccer ball if it went that angle towards Razo. And then if Varun tried to be a little bit aggressive, it also would have hit Varun in place. But what an excellent opportunity to go from that cross over with the back of a room takes it from across the stage here and puts him up 2-0 against Razo. Oh, yeah very very solid stuff for Varun um, honestly outside like these first stocks Razo's looking really strong but Varun just fights back so hard and it's been yeah. really difficult for Razo to make up these deficits once Varun gets gets going I I don't know I, I think I I might want to see a character not character a stage change from, from Razo right now yeah, I, I talked about nope. how Raza has, has this track list against Rockstar Ace, but, you know, one player versus one player is another thing, right? Especially when it comes to character matchups. It really, really starts to change when you go from a player like Rockstar Ace and to the playstyle that Varun has with this character, and things become very, very different when you know a matchup. Yeah, it's very really interesting, too, because it's not even like uh, Raza's inexperience what this character does. It's just Varun's style and uh, still as a player is just really carrying him in this match right here. Yeah. Oh, oh no, Razo, <laughs> not like this. Not like this. Not like this. What, a way to start. what a way to start game three with a super dominant in your face down there. Just so aggressive off stage. I haven't seen Bruno look just this dismantling in a, in a match in this whole tournament. Razo's really going to have to fight back hard right now. Oh, and that's what he needs. He needs another stitch face. Another one. <laughs> this is bomb this is Nick. Glass has blessed this man. He said this man will get more stitches and more bombs. He's not wrong, man. Glass will all stitch face at the right time. No, I can't take all the credit for it, but I will take most of the credit. <laughs> Are you like a secret Razo fan here? Like, <laughs> I don't know what's, what's happening right now, but Razo is definitely capitalizing off of this RNG when he can. Oh. oh, nice snipe. The sun salutation still keeping up the first off the ledge. Oh, my God. Not get back to center. He's breathing off the release straight, but it runs out. I know that F tilt so quick. Pushing him back off the stage over and over. We're just absolutely walling out Razo at the ledge, not letting him get in at all. Trying to catch that, uh, trying to catch the jab on the dash, and that Raza doing a really good job of waiting, but not doing a really good job of avoiding that deep breathing. Fair, going to lose the stock there for it. I oh, what a trade! What a trade! Not anymore. <laughs> I will trade. I will trade you your common Weedle for my rare Charizard, and I'll take the Charizard and the Weedle. Wow. <laughs> yeah, hey, Raza's trying to get some down to combo. He hasn't really been able to get that so far in this set, which is really surprising. Um, it just depends how well Rune is facing around that. 
Yeah, this is Razzle's last opportunity, honestly, just continuously stay in this tournament as well. Another Stitch Face, ladies and gentlemen, this man has the greatest RNG I've ever seen. But the character, I don't even know why, but there's definitely Lady Luck on his side as Razzle's trying to slowly inch his way in here in the neutral. He's trying to fight for center stage, which Razzle's very well aware of because a lot of the damage that he's been taking against Varun has been off stage or towards the sides of the stage when he's off of it. Oh what an God. angle and what a great yeah, counter from Raga. If he didn't counter, he can't even come back though. Rue's not letting him come back with me at all. Has he sneaks in. Oh, just to sneak back to the edge. But look at the percent devastation. Look at the stage before Rue has. He's in such a comfortable position right here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The roll. Yeah, Varun definitely sitting pretty here. Not. Oh! Some presentation in neutral. Look at this guy's soccer ball. Oh. And this forces Brazo for that low recovery, and that's what Varun is definitely looking for. More time on the stage. The setup with the soccer ball, almost getting the huge whiff on the Shreed, and the excellent down throw to back air from Brazo because you know he's looking to hold the center stage. But unfortunate, that last hit of the forwarder with such range will be all she wrote as Varun moves up three over. O over Razo, knocking out one of SoCal's last defenders and putting it as a NorCal Grand Finals. Yeah, we're just going to see the run back of winners finals between Louis Money and Varun.